to you. I mean, uh, okay, guys, as part of the maintenance on uh, having a mid drive, you're gonna re when you see the teeth are worn or your chain is stretched, you need to replace the rear cassette and your chain at the same time. Those are wear and tear items. The front gear will last a little bit longer and you don't have to change it simultaneously with the house. Now, something about the front gear that we're using generation three is it has, see how these teeth are different? You have a, you have a narrow tooth and a fat tooth, a narrow tooth and a fat tooth. Okay, so the chain that we're using has it has a fat area and a narrow area. That's what helps keep the chain from skipping or falling off so easy. It's because there's only one way it can go. It can't go from tooth to tooth. Like a normal um, bike would have a... These teeth are just straight teeth, okay? They're just straight teeth. But the new, the new one, what's it called? Chain ring. Chain ring. Chain ring. Now we're going to replace it. It's a, it's, a, it's a fat, narrow, fat, narrow, fat, narrow to help keep the chain on. So anyway, so when you go to take this off, you're gonna use this tool that you're gonna buy in a kit. You put that around there, and then you, in the kit also, you're gonna get the wrench. He has a special wrench, but you get that socket. You'll get that socket, it looks like that. In your kit, when you buy a kit to do your first job, so you'll put a socket in there, and you'll take it out with uh, a crescent wrench or something like that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, he's got special tools. So you're going to take it off. This is regular maintenance, you know, depending on how hard you ride and how you shift. You might be doing this all the time. You might be doing it every 500, 1,000 miles. It depends on how you ride. If you wear ride all in the bottom small little gear, then you're going to wear it out quicker than if you alternate gears and things. Wow, this is the new one. The new one. See, see we're putting... Uh, you per first you put the um, the main ring on the cassette. It has only way to go, only one way. This okay. big tooth it will go in this big uh, space here. Okay, all right. Those are, Those are different spaced. Okay, mm -hmm. so the big gear, the big groove goes in the top. Right. Okay. So. You seat it, and then you're gonna have two smaller gears that you have to seat on there for your bottom gears. Same thing. The reason we went from a nine speed to an eight speed was because there's more space in between the gears, even though it's 1134 range, there's more space in between the gears, and then we can put a fatter chain in there so that won't break as easy, and will wear better. Put a little grease on it. Okay, all done. You don't need this anymore. Only just to take the wheel. 